guys, so today we're having a look at the purifying and exfoliating face mask from Optiat. Now, I haven't even opened this yet, but I ordered it online so I have a vague idea of what's going on inside here. It is one of those masks that you have to kind of mix yourself. Um, and I got this off of Cult Beauty when I was browsing the sale section. So the, the name Optiat stands for one person's trash is another's treasure. So their kind of unique selling point is that they use ingredients in their products that are waste products from other industries. So this one, for example, has hemp, what's the word, hemp seed casings in it. So it's meant to be really, really good for your skin. Um, they talk about, let me see, do, 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 do. so English hemp husks, that's the word. Gently polish away dead skin cells while bentonite clay and activated charcoal draw out toxins. Skin loving superfoods, chlorella and kelp, brighten your skin, boost cell renewal and fight the signs of aging. And it says that this jar contains approximately 30 masks. So the instructions are to mix a teaspoon of powder with a little bit of warm water to form a paste. As ever when I'm testing a face mask, I am going to do one side of my face, so I have my half teaspoon measure out instead. And we're going to zoom in so that you can see what my skin's up to. It's calmed down a little bit, but it's still not at its happiest. Um, so you can see it's, it's not the smoothest looking around here. We've got bumps, we've got, ooh, active spots, yay. Um, and yeah, the pores just aren't looking great. So we'll do this side, compare it to this side and see how we're looking. So I do of course have my trusty hairband. Well, I say trusty hairband, I've used quite a variety of them on this channel, so hmm, a trusty hairband. I've got my big glass test tube type jar and Okay, slight bummer that my teaspoon thing doesn't fit into it, so I'm hoping this isn't going to fall everywhere and waste lots of product. So it's £17 normally for this. I bought it in the sale for, I think, £12.50, although when I checked just before doing this video, it seems to have went down again to £10. Um, so it's a bit of a bummer. So this was like a crowdfunded um, company as well, I believe, from what I read. So half a teaspoon, it does just look like ordinary clay um, mask powder. The hemp husks in there can't be can't be that big. I've got my warm water. So drill a little bit in. I don't want this to be too too runny. Um, I do want it to stay on my face. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm a big enough disaster at the best of times without having a face mask so runny that I can't sit still with it on. And I think I've actually kind of just trod the line between any more water or any less powder and this might have run off my face. Um, so yeah, so it just looks like a dark grey, almost cement coloured paste. Um, so let's get to applying this. Um, so it says gently massage using onto the skin using an upward circular motion. How can you do an upward circular motion because by the time you get to the other half of the circle you're going downwards so I don't understand. Um, well we'll start at the bottom of my face at least and work our way half up half down. So, I wish I'd used warmer water. I feel like this would feel nicer if I had. Oh, I've got a hair in it. Yay. Hmm. Smells unusual. What am I smelling? So, bentonite clay, activated charcoal, hemp powder, marshmallow root, corn kernel meal, chlorella, which is a superfood, kelp. Lemon tea tree oil, that might be what it is, lavender flower oil, 
citrus, lemon, peel oil, juniper, wood oil. Okay, it's got quite a lot of smelly oils in it. So, messed it, my, messed my upper lip area. So, measurements seem to be pretty on the dot. Um, so, half a teaspoon done half my face, they recommend doing one teaspoon. So it seems pretty bang on there. So, it is 19.42 just now and it says to leave on for up to 10 minutes. So I'll be back in 10 minutes to let you know how it got on. Right, so I am at the 10 minute mark and as you can see this is mostly but not entirely dry. So I'm going to give it another little minute just to see if these areas dry up and turn the same pale green colour and we'll see just how long that takes. Right, so we are almost dry. It's now 19.59, so this has had an extra seven minutes. Now this chunk here is particularly thick and probably not going to dry. This area, I don't feel like it was that much thicker, but apparently it was. I'm just going to zoom you in to show you something. Now I've seen this with a couple of face masks before, where you can see all these little kind of weird darker areas where the pores are. Oh, that's never going to focus, is it? Okay, now it's probably all in my head, but I like to imagine that that is like the oil being sucked out that makes it look that darker kind of shade, um, especially you can see it on the nose quite well. Um, yeah, so that's what I like to imagine. I'm probably totally wrong. But I am now going to go and rinse this off because it's been on a little a little bit longer than it's meant to and obviously other areas had dried fine and are now overdone, maybe? So I'm going to go rinse this off and see how difficult it is to rinse. Right, I'm back. That rinsed off quite easily. What I do with really clay-based masks is just wet my hand and press water into it and then start working my way around. Just seems to break up a little bit easier that way. So, I could feel that this was a little bit gritty when I was rinsing it off, but not harsh at all, just you could feel that there was a bit of texture there. But it came off nice and easily. And I would say my skin does look a little bit brighter on this side. Um, it feels a little bit smoother, not massive amounts smoother. Like I said, it wasn't a particularly harsh exfoliant that we had going on um, but it definitely feels pleasant my skin feels really nice and fresh and let us zoom in and see what my pores are doing because that's the big one isn't it so oh stuck around my nose ring as always so I would say that they look quite a bit better on the side that we've done the mask on. So that's cool. So what I'm going to say, yeah, I really like this. I like that it's something a little bit different. I like the whole one person's trash is another treasure, another's treasure. That's great. It's vegan. I'm not vegan, but it's nice for people that are. Um, it's sustainable, which is important. It's organic and it contains, sorry, it's 33% organic ingredients but it's 100% natural. So it says once you've opened this to use it within nine months. So that would basically be using just under once a week, um, but you can use it up to three times a week. So firmly into the goodbye category, for me, I will be keeping an eye on anything else that they release just to see what they come up with next, what ingredients they look into using, because that to me is really cool. So if you guys have got any questions about this product, leave them down below. I will always try and get you an answer and get back to you. If you have any requests, they can go down below as well. And I will catch you guys later. Hope you have an awesome weekend lined up and I will see you next week. Bye.